hello everyone today we are going to implement this uh, character heating system so when i hit them with the car they will enable the ragdoll mode and after a while they will stand up so let's see how to do that today is the demonstration And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so for this, uh, I am going to use uh, Advanced Logo Motion System project. The reason I'm using is there we already have uh, a ragdoll recovery system implemented. We can turn on the ragdoll so the character will fail. That could be used as the reaction when the character is hit from a vehicle. And then anytime we need, we can recover from the ragdoll. So after the hit, character can stand up again. So that's why I'm using this advanced locomotion system as the base project. I name the project as Fit. Four point. Let's use four point two six. Two six two seven. Not much of a difference. Right. Creating project. Project created. Now it should automatically open. Well, look like it doesn't automatically open. So here is the project. Let me open it. Okay, so this is the ALS project. If I play, this is what we get. Uh, now, let me add vehicle pack into this project. Let's use, uh, we have two vehicle packs, advanced vehicle and this basic vehicle. I'm gonna add the basic vehicle because I only need to implement how the characters react to the hits. Right now here. Right uh, now, let me remove this character from here and change the game mode to vehicle game mode. So now, if I play the game, the game will start from this vehicle. At the moment, even if I hit a character, nothing happens. Basically, actually, they are immovable, so I can't drive through them or I can't go past them. Right. Uh, so, uh, first, let me put these guys in the middle so that I can test more freely. And this is the now mesh, so, in order to allow characters free roaming in a large area I have to increase the size of the nav mesh let's try 8000 and move here ok and let's move These guys into the middle. To make it easier for me to test. Right, 
so yeah as i said i can't do anything to them and car can't even move the car if i hit one of them uh so let me open the vehicle blueprint which is this one here is the blueprint and what i'm trying to do is if i get some event if i can get some event when i hit a character i should enable their ragdoll so actually in the als character let me go to Ragdoll start, yeah. There is a function called ragdoll start. Uh, let's go to the parent. Yeah, that means in the ALS base character, we have this ragdoll start, which allows character to go into the ragdoll doll. And also, there is another function uh, ragdoll end. this basically stops the character is in the ragdoll mode so these are the functions i am going to use but in order to call these functions the uh, i'll don't really have a method unless i have a reference to this ALS base character or i have implemented an interface function but first let's implement a way to detect uh, the character hits for that what we can do is here we can the simulation generate hit events this is already enabled enabled so if I create a function let's say on component hit let's just print the name oh wait let's just print the name of the object we hit for now to see if this function is working so the base character capsule component i don't think this has to generate it even some not actually sure but we have to make sure that this is blocking the vehicle and it is okay let's try right as i was just see we get the name of the character oh we don't we don't here we did I guess we get the hit event from this box or from the other components uh, let me check this mesh and in the physics asset uh, select all of these and check this is enabled should hit events fire when this object collides with physics simulation let's enable this uh, i think i'm not sure why but to we have already enabled that here but somehow it's not working let's see see now we get the character name that means we can do something now since we know the characters that are hitting right now in this ALS base character if you go to class settings there are a few interfaces if you want you can create a new interface and implement a function called let's say on vehicle hit uh, but yeah let's create one why not under character locomotion blueprints 
interfaces I'll add a blueprint interface CLA stand for code like me damageable BPI BPI stands for blueprint interface the reason I named this damageable is uh, because in my other projects I have implemented a damageable object or damageable interface to implement stuff like what happens when a character hit by a bullet or an explosion or fire things like that that's why I use the same name here so you can use any name you want no problem on vehicle oh on vehicle hit it's compile now in the ALS base character let's add another interface you have to go to class settings add here we have CLM damageable BPI right now we can implement on vehicle hit so what needs to happen on a, on a character is hit by a vehicle is we have to start ragdoll so call ragdoll start and after a while it should um, it should stand up but here instead of adding a delay I'll add a re-triggerable delay the reason is let's say if I add a delay let's say we start the ragdoll and after five seconds the character should get up and if i implement five second delay with the normal delay even if i got hit again since it is a uh, normal delay after five seconds we will call the ragdoll end but if i add a re-triggerable delay if this part is triggered again then delay will be reset right now also uh, if we want to prevent this ragdoll start part calling again and again we can add a do once node here and after ragdoll is ended we can reset this it's just a minor thing even if you don't do this you wouldn't notice any issue right okay so now here we don't need this let's call on vehicle hit message on whatever the object that we hit so if that object has implemented this on vehicle hit event through the CL, CLM damageable blueprint interface that will be executed so that's the idea here right now let's try right oh right ah oh, wait delay is not enough what's the delay delay oh, it's going to seconds let's give five seconds right okay it is working but uh, when we hit the character they already have that immovable capsule so because of that the momentum of the sedan is broken the vehicle is broken so that's not realistic like if we hit a character we should not hit suddenly we should be able to move with a minor impact to the velocity of the vehicle so for that what we can do is uh, slightly before the vehicle hit the character we should 
coal is on vehicle heat. So by doing that, we would enable the ragdoll of the character before the vehicle actually hit the character. In that way, we will see character is thrown away. So in order to do that, let's add a collider here. A box collision would do. Let's place it like this. Slightly larger than the car. Yeah, this should be fine. To the sides as well. Right. Now let's add uh, on component B in overlap here now I don't need this so let me remove this and on component B in overlap I'll call this on vehicle hit event now let's see Right now, I think it works without any issue, so I can just run through the hole. It's really hard to walk through this. Wait, why are they not affected by when I hit them? They just go through the bar. Is that let me select one of them? Oh, they are ignoring the vehicle channel. I'm not sure why. Is it same here? doesn't look like that yeah for some reason they are so let me block it now let's see ah yeah now I can just run through them back in GTA Change the camera here. Great. Okay. So that's all I want to do for today. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.